Hello guys, today we are discussing about the React components, uh, what, how many types of the component is there. So basically in the, uh, in a React, we have two types of, a uh, lot of component is there, but mostly we'll use two only. That is functional component and a class component. Okay, functional components and the class component we have. And uh, in future, they are using only the future of uh, function components only because of the, this class component is too complicated as compared to a function component. So basically function component is just simple uh, JavaScript component uh, functions only. Okay. And that accept the properties as an argument. Okay. And returns the react element. So as we know that, uh, let me open the notepad. Okay. We know that how we can define the JS function like function name and the uh, sorry function keyword and the function name will define okay after that we'll write the parenthesis open and the close and after that curly braces and the curly braces close inside that we'll write the statement so whatever in our mind so we can simply write here and we implement this function uh, this function okay and it's except the parameters as well so that is called as a properties and it will accept as an argument it will accept as an argument okay so this is the thing it may be a one or it may be a more than one so wherever uh, whenever we are calling so like that how we can call this is simple function name by using a function name we'll call no function name okay at that time so if you are pro uh, if you are passing a properties you have to pass it here as an argument okay so you have to pass it inside this if you have passes two so you have to write like this okay this is the thing Okay. But the same thing like a, a class component is also like that but it has one drawback like uh, it is a complex component. We have to extend uh, react.component. So just come here like if I want to create the class so we have to write the class and the class name. Okay, And after that we have to extend. This is the thing we have to do it anyhow. Okay, no? So what we have to do it react.component this is the thing we have to extend every time and the logic if you have some logic you can or statement you can write inside this curly braces there is uh, one thing is there okay in here we have to write the return method okay inside that we'll write the return method okay like that uh, return method and inside this return method uh, we'll simply pass our logic okay inside that we'll pass our logic there is one thing one main root we have to create inside this return okay otherwise you can't see so if you are passing only one that is okay this is h1 if you are passing here i just close the h1 okay if you are passing only this one element that is okay there is, uh, we don't need any main div or the uh, react fragment we don't need it but when we are using more than one components like more than one element or the tags <coughs> This is nothing but the react element only okay so when we are using it when we are using more than one that time we have to bind this element inside one main div okay now so how we can bind we have to write like this div okay and here we have to come and we have to close it now you can write as many as you want okay but the ba uh, basic thing is instead of that you can also write this uh, ex react fragment so you can just simply close this like that way there is no need to write anything you can just simply write this name and this is called as a react fragment okay here the same thing when you are doing okay when you are returning something in that time you have to write the render method this is the method we have to uh, write it and inside this render method we have to write the return okay and inside this return now you can just pass the you can pass whatever you want like inside this return okay if you have some logic you can write it the same thing uh, the main root we have to write the main div we have to write and inside that we have to write the sub elements of the react that means if you want to write the h1 you can write here if you want to write the paragraph you can write inside that there is no use if you have more than one then we have to if you have this is the div okay why i have uses this div because here we have a more than one element or more than one tag so that's why i'm using this one okay 
one thing here uh, we have to write any of this render method but here we don't need in the function so let's try to create the function function component will try uh, will try will try to create the function components so just come here a uh, new file and uh, we have to write the name of the function so i'm just simply write writing function component dot js so we know that this is the js extension we have to write for every component hit enter once you are hitting enter uh, first step you have to import okay you have to import the react by the way we are we are using a react so we have to import this react so it will provide some predefined functionality okay import react from this <coughs> from this react okay so this is the react we have um, that means this react file this extension has created somewhere okay and inside that maybe one class otherwise one component is there with the name react okay so that's why we are importing okay so now i'm just creating a function so we know that we have to write the function keyword and after that function function name okay so whatever name you have given there where here the same name we have to give here you can give it anything but uh, this one is most preferable you can just simply give this function components okay and make sure that first name must be in capital if it is small your uh, react won't work okay you can pass the properties as, as well is up to you okay so right now i'm not passing curly braces we have to open it and close and right now we have to write the logic okay simply uh, we know that we have to write the return method and inside that we have to uh, write our element that means our logic we have to write if you have one it won't throw any exception like that here you see it's not throwing any error or anything but if i try to write more than one element okay now just i'm just trying to open paragraph so i have open it and i have closed the paragraph here also i'm writing the same thing but see uh, in this time it is showing the error why because of your react accepts only one element okay it may be h1 or it may be a p or it may be a div it accepts only one element okay so you can just simply write like this close this one x and uh, here close like this so what we are doing right now we are passing only this one element okay this that is div and inside that we have a uh, this h1 and the paragraph tab but all these things where it has stored inside this div only so this is only one okay no if you don't want to write this you you can just simply write this uh, react fragment like that that is also okay okay no so here this is the functional component so i'm just simply writing a function component there and just uh, close this one and just save the changes save the changes uh, <coughs> i have already run it okay again we have to run it but before that see here i have created this functional components i agree okay but we haven't used this and we know that what is the entry point whenever react want to execute react will come inside that and it will execute so it will come inside your index.js it will see uh, how many how many components we have and whatever components you have this component will print in your react output okay in your page so right now i haven't called it so how we can expect this will execute okay so it won't possible and the another thing for for we have to uh, we have to use here okay that means if consider this is my functional component now okay now i'm using here that is functional fun see components okay like that this is the component like that way we have to call but the thing is this one is a functional components and uh, whenever we are using this functional component we have to import it so how we can import import okay import function components this is the function component component from what is the file this is the file this is the name we have to write uh, double quotes double quotes we have to open dot slash and here we have to write function component <coughs> this is the thing we have to write it that's okay but we haven't exported this functional component 
and we are going to import it it won't possible so that's why we have to write here export default and your component name so function this is nothing but our component when you will like like this then you are able to import it otherwise it won't now just save it if you want you can just uh, start the npm but i have already started so here you see now i just got this functional component so i just want this one in a center so how we can do that thing come here and this is we have this one so instead of that i'm just writing center here center i have uses okay control x come here and just simply save the changes now it will be in center okay now i just want to give a uh, color so how we can give it so for that we knows that we have to come here and we have to write this style is it no yeah after that we have to write like this but instead of double quotes here we have to write the objects like that we will create the object and whenever you want to add some attributes okay inside this style so we have to use double objects okay so this is for this main is for the style okay this main object is for this style and uh, here this object is for the sub attribute this is for the css so right now i just want the background color so you can just take the background color this one and here you see uh, this is in the camel case so it follows the camel case okay no and first one is the key and second word is a value double quotes open it and uh, here you can just simply write the array so it must be in a string and this one is in just simple just save the changes come here now you will get the rate like that way if i want to add another one so how we can add we have to write the comma here and after that you can just simply write the color and this one is um, now this time i'm just taking it back come here and save it it is in black no see we got the black okay this is the thing instead of that here i have used the export default if you don't want it you can there is no need to use this one you can use here but the thing is we have to use as a functional level export export default we have to write like this export default okay there is also okay see the same result we got it you can write either here or you can write here okay but we have to write it otherwise it will not import okay like this way we have to write now we'll see how we can create the class component so right click here i'm just creating a class component simple c must be capital class components then uh, dot js we have to write because this is the js extension okay come here the same thing import react from react got it now i'm just writing a uh, sorry this is the class component so here we have to write the class and uh, this is the syntax first of all we have to write the class and the class name this is the class keyword and after that we have to write the class name so i'm just writing here class components and we know that this is the uh, complicated things like we have to extend this react dot components so this is the thing we have to do it every time whenever we will create that time we have to do it this one okay so we are using in from the from this react we are using a component so we have to import it like that way we have to import okay i have imported now the thing is i have already told you here one thing we have to write the render method there is a main thing we have to write the render method here after the render method this is the important it's a necessary file if you are not writing it you will get the error okay after that here we have to write the return okay and inside this return uh, whatever you will write uh, your class will take this data and it will uh, return to this output okay so right now i'm here also i'm just taking this uh, react fragment and inside that i'm just simply writing a logic but this time i'll just take this ul on order list and i'm just writing a list so one i'm just separating one so 
itu okay this is the thing that i have written it now we knows that we have to export so how we can export there is a two way you can just simply write here export default and your class name that is class compo components okay this is the name either you can write like this or instead of that you can just simply come here and you can write here export default that is also done okay but in now we have written here as well so we have to simply remove this one come here uh, where is our class now it has sort okay like that way we have to write now you can just simply come here and we know that this is the entry point so we have to import this component first of all here and later that we can able we can able to use it so let me add first of all so this is class component no class component like this way we will call okay there is only one self closing tag okay and uh, like that way we'll call our components okay so we have uses now if i try to save it and just try to npm start it will throws the exception what it will say so because we haven't imported we haven't import this uh, functional component so how it will print it is starting yeah so class component is not defined that means we have to import it see we have use uh, we have uses here class component but we haven't defined so we have to import that one first import class components class component from our this class from this extension okay so why we are writing like this import class and from this name may be inside that if me, we have a more than one component then so we are saying from this class component extension i just want to take this component okay it may be a more more than one so if you want anything you can just simply write like this okay but at the end this all this component are stored inside your class component extension only okay so come here functional components uh, sorry where we are class components index dot json okay here we have to write dot and slash and here we have to write class compo save the changes save it now just go there and you will see the data okay now for this now i just want the background color how we can give how we can give you guys already knows that we have to come here and we have to simply write the style and equals to equals to and uh, curly braces open and curly braces close so this is the thing and after that we have to write the background color and simply you can write which one you want right this time we will give the yellow so just save the changes come here and you will see we got the yellow color now we want to change the change the color for this uh, uh, text how we can change simply come here instead of that we'll just try to do one thing we'll write the padding now padding will give right now i'm just giving a 20 pixel so it will give the padding that is 20 pixel from here okay it has given padding from 20 pixel see and uh, another now i just want to give the margin so margin that means here you see not from inside of your container okay if you want some gap see it has touched no right now it has touched to our screen so if you want some gap here okay and the right hand side and the top and the bottom you can give the margin okay so simply margin come here and just simply margin you can give the margin so here i'm just giving a 20 px 20 px save the changes come here and you will see we got the margin so now we got the margin from the left top bottom and the right okay you want more then you can just simply write here 200 to say two more see we got the margin now like that way uh, we will use 
ओके सो दैट्स इट गाइज थैंक यू